Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video. This time, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try and do a deck profile on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega, because as you can see, I have a ton of decks built on here. Uh, today, I wanted to start with uh, Spirit Charmers, a going second version. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just going to quickly go through the deck profile, um, and let me know in the comments, do you prefer deck profiles in Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega? Do you prefer, prefer the Master Duel? I even have the cards in real life. Um, you know, physical cards, do you prefer those kind? I still gotta figure out how to set up the webcam or, or whatever to make that work. But I can at least do these uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro deck profiles and I could show you some gameplay of course. So quickly, just going through the cards, uh, it's basically what I learned from Master Duel, and I just picked you know all the best cards to include, you know via the TCG ban list, um, as you can see here. So basically, uh, in terms of hand traps and tech cards, we got the three Ash Blossom, three Imperm, one Harpies. Got the small Sky Striker engine with the Widow Anchor. Hornet Drones, the two Engage, uh, got a Mind Control, a Change of Heart. Um, that's really it. I mean, we, we have a small Magistus engine with Zora, the Tuner, Crowley, uh, which can be any attribute, really Anoa, which searches the Magistus spell card. We got Secret Village to lock out spells. We got Magician's Right Hand. Uh, to take out the first spell card and left hand the first trap card um, these are searchable by uh, magicians uh, is it called restage um, but I just didn't have room and I don't have any level three spellcasters that I'm running in this so I just didn't include it but if you wanted to search for um, these magician ha uh, hand spells um, you could via this, but you'd have to like run the level three charmers or something to make it really worth it. Otherwise, you know, you're just using this to search these. I mean, I guess you could. It's it's your call. Um, in terms of the mainline charmers, I'm running uh, Luna, which searches any of these 1850s. So we got Alsa, Win, Hita, Area. So this is my, uh, you know, basic charmer list. I also am working on a chaos charmers list, which is like light and dark mainly. Um, look out for that. That's coming out soon. Um, we got the familiars, Inari Fire, Gigabyte, and Nefarious Archfiend, which is special summon if there's a spellcaster on the board. We spoke about the Magistus cards, uh, Incredible Ecclesia can special summon Iris the Sword Soul. Um, Wish Chapter Golem is just a really nice tech uh, in Spellcaster decks because they can um, return a card to the hand if any of your Spellcasters are targeted um, for an attack. Um, Nefarious Archfiend is just cool to combo um, and, and just, you know, bring another uh, another beat stick onto the board. Uh, we're running two spirit charmers, which is the searcher of the deck. Uh, you could run three, um, but I just don't like seeing too many of these. Uh, Awakening of the Possessed is the best card in the deck. Uh, gives you an attack boost for each attribute, and uh, gives you your familiar possessed uh, card destruction protection. Uh, and also you could draw a card if you um, normal special summon an 1850 uh, uh, monster. It doesn't have to be spellcaster or anything. But the only 1850s are spellcaster. So um, that oh the traps. So un unpossessed is a continuous trap, which will allow you to search. A spellcaster if if one of your monsters is destroyed and possess partnerships uh, special summons from the hand or grave and if you have two attributes you can pop a card a face-up card 
Um, AWS, the Fusion, works with uh, Magisys Invocation. Uh, it's kind of a questionable choice. I, I, I do, so, you know, this is, I believe this is searchable by R R R Noah. Um, it has a nice uh, equip a monster effect ability. Like, like the other option would be like Quintet Magician. So you plug in Quintet Magician here and you plug in like uh, Magicalized Fusion. Where is it? This, this card. Because you can banish materials from your field or your grave. So all you need is five. Um, you know, five spellcasters in the grave or um, you know, between your field and grave, and you have a uh, quintet magician, which is a really strong uh, boss monster. Um, this can't be attributed, so you can't kaiju it, and it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So they have to destroy it by battle or um, remove it, you know, via some other means. Um, so it's, it's a pretty strong boss monster. So if you want to replace AOS with this, that would be probably be, you know, the best bet. Um, it's just, uh, Magicalized Fusion would be a hard draw, and this is searchable. So, there you go. Um, really, Anoa is decent, you know, not the best. You could special summon, um, a Magistus from your deck, but you're, then you're locked into Magistus monsters. Um, these two are just generic synchros you can go into with uh, Zora. Um, Artemis equips onto Zora to help you special summon a level 4 spellcaster. Then you have Kagari, which works with uh, Hornet Drones, which is searchable by Engage. That's a nice little engine that'll get you into any of these. Well, no. Into Hita or Dark. Um, the other charmers are just there if you want to steal all their attribute monsters from the opponent's graveyard. Certainly, you know, it really depends on, you know, who you're facing. So these could, you know, like be teched out and you could put something else in uh, that you think is more applicable. Like, I don't know, Baron de Floor and you run like, like some other tuner, like Assault Synchron or something to, to work with. Um, your levels to make Brun de Floor. Like, you know, there aren't many wind monsters to steal or water monsters. Uh, you could say, you could, you know, Hita you definitely need because that works with um, um, Hornet drones and because, you know, Kagari is fire. Um, Ausa you can make an argument for because, you know, Castira monsters are, are Earths. Um, and, you know, Materias, Vernus Lefts, like, you can make an argument for Alsa, but this is also replaceable. Dark, you definitely need. Uh, Lina, you definitely need, because Light and Darks are the most popular ones. So, you can make an argument to keep area and win in the side deck, but, you know, I just keep it in here for now, um, for the demo. Uh, Selene, to bring back any of your spellcasters. Um, Access code uh, for game and underworld goddess. So, if you're strictly playing this online, um, I would highly recommend um, the Magician Souls engine. Where did it go? Anyway, uh, where is it? Magician. I thought I saw it. Anyway, um, Illusion of Chaos. So, this is going down in price um, because of the new um, set cards. I'm thinking about grabbing it. Anyway, you run. Um, so, the engine is like two or three of these Illusion of Chaos, and then Magician Souls. Can I find it? with souls. Yeah, there you go. So this is just the super expensive card. So, you know, if you don't have this physically, you know, if you're just playing this online, this is a great tech choice because you're running a ton of spells 
and you could just use this to either put a body on the field or to draw cards. Um, the other tech pick is uh, Wonder Wand because this not only gives your monsters a small attack boost but you could use it to draw cards. I think the best combination, I mean it's not search, you know, Wonder Wand is not searchable and neither is this card, Jester Confit. This is basically a free special summon. There's no, there's no restrictions. Oh, okay, the only restriction is you can only special summon one of these um, from your hand. So, you know, if you special summon a spellcaster and combine it with Wonder Wand, that's a, that's a decent tech, and then you can draw two cards. Um, but you know, very situational because you can't search Jester Confit and you can't search Wonder Wand. So, uh, you know, you're just throwing things in there hoping you'll you'll draw in, into it. So, there is the deck. Uh, let's show you some gameplay. Alright. So, we, we escaped the uh, the stun deck, and we're now on to the computer playing ice barriers, apparently. So let's just see what we can do. Oh, this is a decent hand. All right, so let's start with um, Magician's right hand, because that's what I would typically do um, if there's nothing to clear on the board. Um, so we have Zora, we have Area, we also have Spirit Charmers. So let's dump... Um, Let's dump the uh, harpies. Hopefully they don't have ash. Okay, it doesn't look like they do. So let's add. Um, let's add. Possessed partnerships and awakening of the possessed. Let's set that. Flip it. Oh, okay. okay. Activate it. Now let's normal summon Zora. Activate his effect. Equip Artemis. Then activate the trigger effect to special summon area. We we were able to draw a card. And now we could special summon uh, Nefarious Archfiend. And attack. Now look at that. Uh, 24, 24. We could also go into Monk of the Tenyi or Borlode Savage. Um, that is a dark. Yeah, let's go into uh, Borlode Savage because that'll set us up. Uh, yeah, that'll set us up for next turn. Oh, did I? Okay, I messed that up. Anyway, <laughs> let's proceed to the attack phase. Okay, go to main phase two. I should have synchroed into Borderload Savage. Anyway, and from here, possess partnership here. This magician's right hand is dead now because I do not control a spellcaster. So, there is that. So, let's flip this up. Let's special summon area. Will we get a draw? And then say no to destroying. Oh, yeah, we got a draw. What is happening here? Okay. So let's normal summon Hita for a draw. I like these uh, card arts. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we're, we're really boosted right now. Um, I could either go into... Uh, do they have anything in the grave? 
they have a cryomancer. Okay, let's just let's just attack for a game. Okay. So flip flop prog destroyed my or returned my Return my monk of the tenny. Okay. And that's how you clean up with spirit armors. Not bad. Uh, let's play to the match. Okay, we are able to draw spirit armors again, which is nice. And we're playing against these words. Does this have an effect? You can normal summon. If this card is normal, summoned. It is unaffected by activated effects from any monster whose rank is lower. Huh. And it's 200. Okay. Uh, we'll save the Imperm for next turn. Okay. A lot of back row. Okay, decent draw, but we need to utilize spirit charmers. Actually, we will start with the imperm. We'll start with the imperm. Okay. I don't know if I made the right call there. Um, now I could activate Iris Sword Soldiers. Okay, maybe I won't. Okay. So I can either go Engage or Spirit Charmers. So this card is kind of dead because I don't have a Spellcaster. So I could get one. Um, this is tough. Let's dump the Inari Fire. So let's go with spirit charmers, dump this, grab, so what element are these guys? Earths? So let's grab an Alsa and an Awakening of the Possessed. Okay. Then let's flip this up. Let's activate Engage because you can't run the Striker engine if you have a monster on the field. So let's add the token. Let's go into Kagari. There you go. Trigger effect, yes. You add back the Hornet Drones. So now I can go into another monster, but we will hold off on that because what we'll do is Ooh, we joined his spirit charmers, which doesn't help. But um we have uh link one, two, three, Celine. We we'll bring back Celine, pop these cards. Yeah, let's do that. So this is the uh, Axis, Axis Code Talker line. And he doesn't have a monster in the grave, does he? No. So, um, let's get let's get another element. Oh no, I should not have played it. That was a mistake. I should have done dark. Anyway, that was a mistake. Um... Lean. Um, please. Ooh. But no. We're special summoning in, in defense. So. Uh, that doesn't help. But we are able to make uh, Axis Code Talker. Okay. Trigger effect, yes. Like this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow! This guy had compulse. 
Okay. I guess we are passing turn. It's AI means business. Can we come back? Uh, possibly yes. Yeah, just gotta dump uh, this guy. So as long as this guy doesn't have ash, we have a chance. So um, I still didn't kill a monster of his. But let's go Gita, and let's go one of the traps actually. Let's go one of the traps. Let's hit the trap. Okay, normal summon. I was able to draw into this. I will not be activating this. And I can't beat over the. Oh, wait! I can special summon from the hand. There we go. What is this effect? Can declare an attribute. I mean, there are already different attributes. But let's pick um, light. Doesn't really help the situation. Okay, what can we do, guys? What can we do? So. We don't have the attack boost. We can go into this, which can special summon a Magistus from the deck. But that won't really do anything. Alright, we're gonna have to pass turn. Alright, so do I pop the monster or do I pop his back row? That is the question. What does this say? Cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay, let's um let's get Alsa. Okay. Hey That actually worked. <laughs> was not able to destroy our charmers because they have uh, destruction protection. Um, nice. Trigger effect of Nefarious Archfiend Eater. Of, what is your effect? If this card is in grave, you can target a face-up monster control, destroy it, and if you do, no. No thanks. It will not actually get it. Ooh, but I can get this guy. Okay. So, yeah, let's do this. So let's special summon. Let's summon this to special summon Hita. Hita. Attack. Okay. I can normal summon this for level eight synchro. Okay, okay, now we're cooking. Alright, let's take control of his monster. We know we can't attack. Let's normal summon this. So I can go ooh, I can go back into access code, but let's not do that. Let's go into Born Lord Savage. Equip 
and um, wait, what? Blah, blah, blah. If this card is sent from the field to the grave, you can add a possessed spell trap. Let's get more of a boost, right? Let's get boosting. Let's equip Celine. Nice. Look at this. Alright, this can't attack. So let's go into a charmer. So we have earth and fire. Oh, I can't. Well. I can go into Artemis and then I can go into Lina, right? So. So Artemis, and then what? Oh, I can negate that. Yeah, let's negate that. Nice. Looking good. And finish him off. And there you go. That is Spirit Charmers, ladies and gentlemen. Going second Spirit Charmers. They're not the best, but they get the job done. Um, if you enjoyed, please let me know. Like, subscribe. Um, now, you know, let me know about this format. I, you know, I made a lot of decks on Yu-Gi-Oh! Omega. If you prefer this for format, let me know. If you prefer Master Duel, let me know. Um, but yeah, I definitely enjoy making these profiles, so let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.